everyone. Hope you all doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load data into this Power BI desktop. Because in order to do any visualization, in order to create report or in order to create a dashboard, we need to know like first we need our data, right? So how to load our data? So usually Power BI offers you like 100 plus of, I mean, like you can do data from 100 plus resources. You can see here, just click on this get data. And you can just click on like more option. It will show you like from which all sources, from which all, you know, connections or from which all sources you can load data. You can see here, you can load your data from an Excel or from a CSV form or a CSV format or if your data is like a XML, JSON, folder, PDF. So these are the different sources from which you can load your data. You can connect to an Azure, you can get from that Azure data lake storage, Azure database. You can get it from you know Salesforce, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, GitHub. So these are the different sources from which you can load your data. And also you can load it from our database. We have a different options uh, regarding our database. You can load your data from a SQL Server database if you know any connections. If you know host name and you know username and a password regarding any database connection, you can just connect it to the server and you can load our data. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect with a basic thing that is Excel workflow. I hope you can see the option here. Just click on that Excel workbook. It will take you to the file directory. And from this, you need to select whatever file you want. Okay, here I have a sample superstore. And uh, the format is like an Excel workbook. I just select the file and I just click on open. Just click on open. It will take some time in order to load it. Let's wait for it. So my data basically has three tables. You can see here, orders, people, returns. That are the you know, different tables available in Superstore Sales. So I need all three tables. If you want all three, you just have to select one by one. You just need to check on that whatever boxes, check boxes you have. After that, you can see here, even the previews will be shown here. Preview will be so, uh, seen here. If you want to see like what is orders, let me show you like how that preview is shown. Click on orders. You can see like what is that inside orders. You can see what is the data that you have here. Similarly, I want all the tables. See here, this is a people. This is like our returns. Okay, so I want all the, I mean, I want all the tables. So I'll just click on unload. You have two options here. One is load and the other one is a transform data. If you just click on unload, what happens? So make sure if your data is clean, then you have to click on unload so that your data will be loaded into your Power BI. What if your data is not clean? If your data has some missing values or if you want to do any formatting, how do you do that? So that can be done by just you know, selecting transform data. If you click on the transform data, it will directly take you to the Power Query where you can edit your data, where you can clean your data. So probably I'll try to make one video on like how Power Query is going to work probably in the future. So you have two options. Load means you can load a data directly into this particular Power BI. I hope you can see here. So this is a data panel where you'll see all the data. If you click on this, I hope you can see what are the fields available in this data. Everything is visible. See, if it shows if it shows something like a summation, that means it's a numerical column which has like a numerical values. If it shows like a calendar symbol, that's a column which has like a date kind of stuff. And uh, if nothing is shown, that means it's a categorical column which has all the categories, that is like a text kind of data. So this is a data panel visualization. These are the different visuals you have in your Power BI, a free visuals, bar chart, line chart, area chart, funnel chart, scatter chart, you know, pie chart, donut, tree map. These are the different stuff, different charts. You can also do a formatting. You have a format option here. And or if you want to apply a filter, if you want to filter data based on certain condition, or if you want to find like top five, bottom five products. So in that particular case, filters please are very important too. And this is a panel, whatever you see here, this is a panel where you can see your visualization, whatever visuals you plot, everything will be seen in this particular view. We call that as a report view. So you have one more that is a data view where you'll see all your data. So whatever data we have loaded, everything will be seen in this particular data view. I hope you can see here. If you want to do any formatting, like if, if you want to create any new column or if you want to create a new table, you can make use of these tools and you can create a new column. And then data modeling, I told you that, you know, Using Power BI, we can do our data modeling. If you want to build any connection between two tables or you know multiple tables, in that case, data modeling plays a very important tool. You can do this modeling only if there is any common column. And this particular table, I don't see any common column. So 
names are not proper, so I can't show data modeling here. Probably in the future, I'll try to make a video on data modeling. So this is all about, you know, importing data into your Power BI, where you can use that data in order to create any virtual. I hope it's clear. Thank you.